Hi, it's Craig and this is my camping channel. Today we're going to run through the Google Nest Hub, second generation, and how I set it up to run on 12 volt. Okay, let's get down to brass tacks. Do you need a Google Nest Hub to go camping? Like, you really don't. But I have one in my home and I like it. So I wanted one and the only thing that was stopping me from getting one is it was running on 240 volt here in New Zealand. So I had a Google Nest Hub, the first generation, and I tested it on a multimeter and its voltage coming from the power adapter was 13.9 volt and it was drawing one amp. I thought, that's well within the capability of the um, 12 volt system so I bought a 12 volt adapter from AliExpress and it has multi voltage and I set it to run to 13 volt and as you can see the device is working now I'll quickly show you the, the amp and it's sitting in back here. I have pretty much all of my devices in here, the mixers, the coffee grinder, the um, wireless router and the Google Hub and they're all running through here and nice and tidy. So technical difficulties were quite small and easily overcome once I bought and mounted this adapter here from AliExpress and it pretty much runs 24-7. Uh, okay so the Google Home requires an internet connection to be in use. So not very far away from the uh, wireless modem here so it's working. If you don't have a wireless modem you'd have to hotspot it or something from your phone but for me um, I've got them both set up and it's working continuously okay now why do I want a Google Home mostly it's because I have it and I'm used to it okay if you have any um, Google devices um, like Google Home or Google Phone you may want to take them away or turn them off because I'm going to say the trigger phrase for Google very soon so down pat my favorite um, thing is the photo frame. I enjoy being able to see all my photos displayed while I'm in the camper van. And for that feature alone, it is um, well worth having for me. So wherever I go, I have photos displayed um, of my family and friends and places I've been. So for that alone, I recommend the Google Nest Hub. Trigger phrases coming up now. Okay Google, what's the time? It's 4.24 p.m. Okay Google, what's the weather? Right now in Auckland it's 16 degrees and partly cloudy. Today there will be scattered showers with a forecasted high of 18 and a low of 12. Stop. Okay Google, set an alarm for 6 a.m. You got it. Your alarm set for tomorrow at 6 a.m. Okay, Google, set a timer for 15 seconds. Sure, 15 seconds. And we're starting now. Okay, Google, a recipe for spaghetti bolognese. Okay, here are some recipes. Okay, Google, stop timer. Okay, Google. Navigate to Sky Tower, Auckland. I've sent the directions to your phone. Also great for playing music. Um, I have linked a Spotify account, so I just need to ask for music. And this little thing has become my default music player. Okay, Google, play smooth jazz from Spotify. 
Spotify playlist called Smooth Jazz. That's really groovy. I have also linked my YouTube accounts because it's a Google device and my Netflix account and my Disney account. And I can play all of these on this very small screen or else I can do this. Okay, Google, stop music. Okay, so I've um, got a 12 volt TV in the camper van, just up there, and it has a Google Chromecast um, plugged in the back. All of those devices run off 12 volt. Okay, Google, play Bridgerton from Netflix on TV. I'm not a big fan of Bridgerton, so I'll just stop playing now. Okay, Google, stop playing on TV. All right, stop in living room TV. Let's watch a quality production. Okay, Google, play Craig's camping channel on YouTube on TV. Okay, playing Craig's camping channel from YouTube on living room TV. Oh, this looks really interesting. I must say the protection level is extremely high in this. I, I don't normally support self-promotion, but yes, everyone should watch this. Okay, Google, stop YouTube. When you get down to it, the, the amount of things you can do with the Google Nest Hub is quite huge. In, in my house, it controls my vacuum cleaner, the lights, and a few other devices. Here in the camper van, it really can only do the TV. Um, I haven't put any more devices. I'm geeky enough that I'd really enjoy doing it, but I haven't got around to it yet. But right down to simple things so I can ask the weather okay Google what's the temperature in Auckland it's currently 16 degrees I can convert that for my American or Canadian people who use Fahrenheit okay Google what's 16 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit 60.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so I can convert meters. So I'm 1.83. So what's that in feet? Okay, Google, 1.83 meter in feet. 1.83 meters is 6 feet 0.047 inches. <laughs> I could convert my weight from kilo to pounds, but um. I think I'll preserve that weighty number. Once you have it, you find you often refer to it um, just because it's so easy. You know, I can ask for locations. Okay, Google, nearest fish and chip shop to me now. I found a few places near you. Okay, so it can also communicate uh, and do verbal messages or phone calls, but not video calls. This does not have a camera, so you don't have to worry about it recording you um, with a video camera, because there isn't one, which is really good for privacy, but I think the device would be really handy in the camper van if it did, if I wanted to make video calls, but it doesn't. Um, if you are worried about privacy, then this isn't the device for you because it is 
is you've just noticed constantly monitoring everything I say. But I find it so handy and my life is a relatively open book, so I'm not particularly concerned. So I have the Google Nest Hub second generation. What a terrible name. If there's anything that is wrong, it is the name. Velcroed down, so it hasn't fallen off. I mean, if I was going into a rougher situation, I might take it off and put it in the cupboard. The adapter's fixed up there, so I haven't taken it out either. Um, the adapter's been running for a couple of months. I'll include the link if you're interested in getting it from AliExpress, but I've had no issues with it. You can buy um, the Google Hub um, either online from Google or from most electronic stores in New Zealand. You know, uh, some of the features I showed um, in the video, if that's you, then get it. Of course you don't need it for camping. It, it's not required. But if you're living in your camper van, um, more long term, um, just being able to see your photos is really groovy. Um, being able to play music for it is cool. The voice controls uh, I find quite useful. I use it as my alarm clock. Um, and I often use commands like, you know, what's the time? And for me, it really works. Well, that pretty much wraps up my review of the Google Nest Hub in my camper van. Hey, I'm going to keep on doing 12 volt devices trying to run as many things as I can without getting an inverter and it has intrigued me on how much you can do without requiring 240 volt. So I'm going to keep on doing it and um, until my next one